A few days ago, I picked up and unboxed the Blu-ray set for the Gundam Seed OVA CE73 Stargazer. And considering I never got around to watching it before or reviewing it here on the channel leading up to Seed Freedom, let's talk about it. But before I get into my thoughts, I want to hear from you guys, so head on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this OVA if you have seen it. And while you're there, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Right from the start of this thing, you do get the idea that you are in for a very different experience as opposed to see Destiny because this has a much bleaker tone compared to those. But the great thing about it is that it also doesn't feel completely detached from that world from that story. Quite the opposite in fact. It provides us with another more grounded perspective on some of the events that we see throughout Seed Destiny as this takes place over multiple kind of time periods that span basically the entirety of Seed Destiny. It starts pretty early on in Seed Destiny's timeline as it does pretty much start as you get the fall of Junius 7 which is of course very early on in the series and is the catalyst for the second war. And then if I was to have a completely random guess I would say that it ends around like three three quarters of the way through Destiny. Not that Seed and Seed Destiny don't do this at times, but I think that Stargazer manages to capture the horrors of war very well, with the opening sequence showing the impact of the Junior 7 collapse, with natural disasters wiping out cities, blowing up, it shows a more grounded perspective that I would compare to something like the whole city sequence in Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway, for those that have seen that, that is a more grounded perspective on Gundam's fighting and you get kind of all the buildings falling down, innocent lives being stomped out, all that kind of stuff. But there is another standout scene which in particular I think manages to showcase these horrific events more so than any others and that is the refugee camp massacre where we have the strike in the wire, we have some of that I believe are called the daggers and they just massacre this refugee camp because they're in search of terrorists but of course they don't know who the terrorists are so they just wipe out everyone there and I think we kind of got some of that stuff within Seed Destiny but the way that it's framed here there's a severe lack of emotion to it and that's what makes it even more horrific. Now I do think the overall story of Stargazer is pretty good. It's a different perspective on this world. It's focused on both natural extremists under Blue Cosmos and a group of scientists which are mostly made up of coordinators which are now working on this new Gundam, the Stargazer Gundam, which is being used more so for space exploration as opposed to war. So that gives a completely different perspective on this universe and whilst we've seen you know bits here and there of the perspective of Blue Cosmos up to this point we've never really had things specifically from their perspective as them sort of like the protagonist. And speaking of the protagonist our number one main character here is Savant and I think he is really well fleshed out for the amount of time you get. It's only a 50 minute run time but in that time you get his full backstory, you get a full idea of who he is. He's got a very tragic backstory going from a child with dreams of being an astronomer to being indoctrinated into the Earth's military and conditioned to the beliefs of Blue Cosmos. All of this is told to us through flashback montage stuff where sometimes you have to piece things together but once you do that you get a real good idea of who this character is without them ever really saying a word. Personally, I think he would have been a fantastic protagonist for a full-fledged series. Unfortunately, Stargazer has one major problem which then creates lots of other problems and that is the 50 minute runtime. It does a good job with its story, with its characters within that very, very small amount of time but there's still the fact that it's only 50 minutes. A lot of stuff feels very rushed. This is a very, very fast paced story that's just go, 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 which is good to watch and not get bored of because I struggle to believe that you will get bored of watching this because it does move at such a brisk pace. But because of that, you don't get the necessary time to sit with things. And there is a lot in this OVA that could be sat with for a longer amount of time, for an extended amount of time. And unfortunately, because it's only 50 minutes long, you do have to kind of move on to the next scene once one is finished. The contents and ideas of the story are great and easily could have been used for a full-fledged theatrical feature film, whatever it may be, that is at the very least an hour and a half, if not, you know, going more towards the two hour mark, or it could have been like an eight to 12 episode series. There's plenty of content here that could have been explored a lot more in a much, much bigger amount of time, but because it's only 50 minutes, you just don't get the best version of what could have been. But overall, I think Gundam Seed Stargazer is the best version it possibly could have been with the 50 minute runtime. If it had a lot longer, it of course could have been better. But even in that 50 minutes, you get a good idea of characters, you get a good idea of stories, you get a good idea of you know, these different perspectives on the events of Seed Destiny. You get 
pretty good sequences, pretty horrific stuff happening. Of course, there are some great mobile suit designs in here as well. It's just unfortunate that it is only 50 minutes long and therefore it was like so close to being an incredible story. So with all that in mind, I'm going to give Gundam Seed CE73 Stargazer a B. Before I get out of here though, please do leave a like on this video. Also subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content. I want to see plenty more Gundam videos in the future. And let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on this OVA if you've seen it. Stay tuned because I will have both a character tier list and mobile suit tier list for Stargazer coming pretty soon to you guys. And plenty more Gundam Seed related videos. I know the Freedom is premiering in America this week. I'm going to have a video talking about what I would like to see next in the Seed franchise. Along with some other shorts relating to Seed Freedom. But as always, thank you so much for tuning into chat today. I'll see you guys next time.